everybody, welcome to a monster episode of The, the Unbox Boys! Boys. <laughs> I'm Dave, along with my son Elias. Hello. And my son-in-law Jared. Hey. Both are extremely scary. Today, Halloween, and when <laughs> monsters abound, I think of Ray Harryhausen, the uh, innovator of stop-motion animation before computer-generated animation. Uh, he was originally inspired by the old black and white King Kong where they used claymation and began doing it himself and became famous for it uh, for such films as Jason and the Argonauts, uh, several Sinbad movies, The Golden Voyage of Sinbad, Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger, The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, First Man in the Moon, 20 Million Miles to Earth, and many, many other films, uh, including the old version of Clash of the Titans. So what you see before you are several cold cast resin statues, statuettes, I guess they're smaller than statues, of some of the uh, some of his creations, some inspired by mythology, uh, some just kind of out of his own head. These came uh, in a set, but the set came in a couple of different kinds of uh, boxes from uh, Columbia Heritage, the Ray Harryhausen Film Library. So some of them kind of look like this shade and had the, the names on them. Uh, and then some uh, similar, but came in a darker shade. I don't know which ones were which or why some came in a dark box and some came in a light box, but these are the boxes that came in from uh, X Plus Company Limited uh, are the creators of these. If you ever get these, let me warn you ahead of time that uh, the cold cast resin, if they have small little pieces, which a lot of these do, they break very easily. So uh, handle with care. But I just thought that we could uh, kind of take a glance at, at some of these iconic figures from those old movies, if uh, you've seen them. I don't know. Have you guys seen any of those mm -hmm. movies I mentioned? Yeah, I have. Jared? I you've shown me. Huh? Um, probably most notably Jason and the Argonauts, as far as you know, what people think of uh, when they think of Ray Harryhausen. If you're a fan of uh, the Monsters, Inc. films, they even kind of paid homage to him by having a restaurant named Harryhausen's. That's where that comes from, Ray Harryhausen. Uh, so in front here, I won't show you all of them, but uh, probably one of the most iconic things he did was the, the skeletons. How they uh, either come up from the ground or, or bones and, and battle as if they're alive. Uh, these cold cast figures are really pretty cool. Very well done, very nicely detailed. So you've got a whole set of uh, skeletons there in front. Uh, some other figures, you've got the, uh, the rock chicks uh, here. It's kind of two-headed giant chick. Uh, chiclet, chick, chickadee. Well, to me, it looks like a dodo bird. <laughs> it's kind of yeah. Like age. Yes, I think it's it's kind of that that style. Uh, but these are supposed to be babies, but they were giant compared to the men that were were fighting them or taking them on. Mm -hmm. You know, the the sad thing about this is, you know, if you want some kind of big uh, chicken, food wise, you don't want two heads. You want like you know four wings or. <laughs> <laughs> or you know, or more, you know, just more eaten because the heads really are weights, but but a cool creation nonetheless. This one is cool, the Minotaur, not only because it was a cool figure. But it's uh, well, Minotaur or Minotaur on the box it says Minotaur. Partially it was is animated, but the parts that weren't, when there was an actor in there, it was actually Peter Mayhew who went on to fame as Chewbacca. Really? But this was really his first uh, role, oh, another role where you yeah. never see him. <laughs> In fact, uh, when we saw him at, yeah, at Comic-Con, I mentioned that. I said, oh, I loved you as the, the Minotaur. And I think he said something to the effect of he never got paid for that, <laughs> if I remember correctly. Yeah, he did. Yeah. I remember him saying that, too. Cyclops guys are always fun. There's three of those this back there. Um, I like that guy. Just kind of big, dumb figures. Very cool, though. Again, the detail in these cold cast resin figures are really pretty wonderful. Of course, this, uh, if you recall the scene, the woman, a normal woman kind of gets into a basket uh, and something happens. I think they put a snake in there with her and this is what ends up coming out. A very, again, iconic figure from Ray Harryhausen. Talos, two figures of Talos, the, the statue guy there. Uh, again, a giant uh, figure there. You can see the, the ship uh, symbolized there, kind of going sailing between his, his legs there. Um, again, a very cool figure. But this is when he was on the box. Perhaps you'll remember it from the, the film. He comes down, and I believe uh, how they kill him is end up, he's got like an Achilles heel type thing, and they, they screw off his heel, and all this stuff comes out, and he eventually dies, and I think lands on somebody. Pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> so the Golden Fleece and the Hydra. Oh, that 
it's that guards it. You. you can set that down there. Yeah. Uh, but again, lots of great detail. Very cool. We this one here, The Giant Octopus, which was one of his early films. Uh, there, this is from, uh, it, it came from beneath the sea, uh, attacking, I think this was part of the Golden Gate Bridge, if I remember right. Perhaps my prized possession, if there was one, from the Harryhausen collection is from the Clash of the Titans film. Uh, and this one is not a cold cast resin, at least uh, the, the figure itself is not. I'm gonna scoop these out of the way a little bit here. Yeah, let me just take that. And he doesn't come off there or anything, he's just kind of all one piece. Does his head turn? He doesn't. He's just kind of a statue. But this is Bubo uh, from the original Clash of the Titans. Uh, you may recall in the newer version of Clash of the Titans uh, that there was a, a Bubo metal owl like this in one of the boxes, and one of the, the characters kind of looked at it and and tossed it aside, kind of as a little Sounds like Star joke. Wars, like, yeah. <laughs> I think an old version, and then in the new one, they find something like... From the old version, like, right. Like, um, in The Force Awakens, how they made uh, the... The little practice the target ball, yeah. yeah. Yeah, same kind of thing happened there. And this one autographed by Ray Harryhausen, uh, which is I actually got this before he passed away. Uh, so glad to have that in the collection. So just a little fun for this Halloween. Thought you'd enjoy seeing some monsters there. Be sure to subscribe. Like, share, comment down below. We always love hearing from you guys. You can follow us as well on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. The links are down below. And until next time, God bless.